let's find the projection of a vector onto some subspace. So in this case, it's going to be a plane. So let's say we're given a plane whose basis vectors are going to be the two columns of the matrix A. So basically, we are given the matrix A with the two columns, column one and column two. And the columns of this matrix are going to be the basis of this plane. So what we would like to do is we would like to project this B onto this plane and find this vector. So in order to do this, again, we're going to make the perpendicular to this plane and find this vector P on this plane. So the, these two vectors are the basis of this plane. It means that any vector on this plane can be explained as a linear combination of these two columns. So the linear combination of these two columns basically means that we're going to multiply the first column to some constant x1, and we're going to multiply the second column of this matrix to another constant x2, and this should be equal to this vector p. Right? Basically, any vector can be obtained as the combination of these columns. So please note, we can write down this combination as a matrix multiplication when we multiply the C1 of A, C2 of A, so basically A itself, multiplied to the X1 and X2 is actually when we multiply the first column to this constant, second column to this constant, N plus. So basically, A multiplied to some vector x is giving me this projection vector p. So what we are interested to do is we would like to find this x. So in order to do this, we're going to use this fact that this vector, basically the connection of the ending points of the b and p, is perpendicular to this plane. So please note that if we put the two vectors from the same point, and if we add their connection points, the, this vector is going to be the subtraction of these two vectors, so b minus p. So this vector, b minus p, is going to be perpendicular to this plane. Basically, it's going to be perpendicular to all the vectors on this plane. And this is just enough to show that if this vector is perpendicular to its basis vectors, it's going to be perpendicular to all of its vectors. So b minus p is orthogonal To the plane means that it's orthogonal orthogonal to its basis vectors. So um, so if you, if you multiply the column 1 of the A transpose to this vector B minus P, you will, it is equal to the 0. And column 2 of A transpose to the B minus P, it's also equal to the 0. Right? Okay. So basically, what, what I can do is I can write this down in one matrix. So basically, if I just put the vector column 1 transposed, and column two transposed as the rows of one matrix, I can multiply this to the B minus P, just the column vector, right? And this should be equal to the zero and zero. So please note this is equal to the system because if you multiply the first row to this column, you need to be equalized as to the zero and you'll obtain the first system. If you multiply the second row to this column is equal to the zero, you'll obtain the second system. Actually, this is the a transpose matrix. So if A has the two columns C1 and C2, then the A transpose is obtained by when we write down the first column as the first row, right? It's going to be C1 transpose written as the first row and C2 transpose written as the second row. So basically I've got the A transpose multiplied as a B minus P should be equal to the zero vector and please note that this p vector is actually written as the a multiplied to the x, right? So this p vector is one of the linear combinations of the columns of this matrix A. So I'm going to substitute this to here in this equation. Then the equation becomes a transpose multiplied to the b minus ax 
is equal to the zero. If you open the brackets, it's going to be a transposed to the b minus a transposed to the a x is equal to the zero. From here, we obtain that a transposed to the a x is equal to the a transposed to the b, and we can find the x from here if the a transpose to the a is invertible. So x is going to be a transpose to the a and its inverse multiplied to the a transpose to the b and we find out this vector x. So please note this vector x is not the projection of the vector b onto this plane. So this vector x is going to give us the coefficients of the linear combination of the columns, the basis vectors of the plane, which is equal to this p. So the p is equal to the a multiplied to the x, which is going to be a multiplied to the a transpose to the a in its inverse, multiplied to the a transpose to the 